Hey, how's it going? Back again with another Pokemon Go episode. This time we're finally going to focus on Latios. So we got to do a trio attempt along with Howler7 and Shanavine. Firstly, we jumped in to help the other members of the group and then we had the added bonus of seeing what the moveset was. So it was Dragon Branch and Dragon Claw. Partly cloudy weather, so no boost either way, but Dragon moves would do a lot of damage to the Dragon Pokemon, so we knew that going in. So we got our Max Revives ready and our team sorted. I had three Rayquaza and three Dragonite, same as Howler7 and Shanavine had a great team as well. So you can see Howler7 had a couple of Draco Meteors. Uh, he had one normal Dragonite and one shiny Dragonite with Draco Meteor. Uh, that was fine because we had plenty of time. Um, I think roughly we're around 2.48 to actually defeat the boss, which was about 670 seconds. So it definitely gave us time to uh, jump out, max revive and jump back in with the team. And then we knew we were going to faint near the end as well. So two of the trainers just jumped straight back in. I myself healed uh, four uh, Pokemon and then jumped back in. And uh, it got a bit tense near the end. So let's jump back into the battle. Uh, just as Howler7 is using Rayquaza with Outrage and myself with Dragonite doing a lot of damage with the Outrage as well. So at this stage of the video, we're on our sixth and final Pokemon. Howler 7 with his shiny Dragonite, myself with the Rayquaza. So at around 196 seconds, I faint, and 191, Howler 7 faints. So it's very important that you always leave one trainer battling the Pokemon so it doesn't regain health. So coming up to, to 195, unfortunately, I made a mistake here. I switched to my team correctly, but I hit on the Rayquaza and selected Machamp and instead of going to items and max revive. So that was a bit of a boo-boo there, uh, thankfully recovered. Uh, Howler7 also healing his first team, so we're going to jump back in. Well, first, I'll jump back in with Machamp. Here he goes. Thankfully, somehow, uh, the team switched around there when I switched and switched back, so Machamp would have been my second Pokemon, so Howler7 jumped in with his perfect team. Uh, Shanavine did the same, uh, with his same team again for the second stage. So here... We still have a Rayquaza, thankfully, so I, I still knew at this stage that Machamp was going to come up. Wasn't sure could I switch him for the next Dragonite, and uh, hopefully we defeat it in time. Unfortunately not, so the Rayquaza is down, and here's my mighty Machamp here. I tried to switch out, click the Dragonite, and nothing happened, so I'm, I'm stuck. With the Machamp, I could have fully running out and then healing up, but I was losing a lot of time there, so I thought, right, wait for the Machamp to die. He does probably not as good damage as... Uh, as the dragons are partially and he does survive a bit longer than expected because he's not uh, weak to dragon type moves so eventually Machamp goes down and then we can uh, jump back into our normal team and uh, fire on with our Dragonite. So now once again we're on our last Pokemon, Howler 7 with his shiny Dragonite again and me with my last Rayquaza, isn't the strongest one, he's 2500, uh, didn't have enough candies or Stardust to invest in him, so this time around Howler 7 jumps back in with another team he had created for this battle, I'm going to heal up my 3 Dragonites Rayquaza and jump back in, hopefully it's going to benefit the, uh, the battle as we come down to 43 seconds. And uh, as you can see in the background, Shanna Vine has probably jumped back in with maybe a recommended or maybe another team he's prepared, including Tyranitar. So at this stage, it's getting quite tense. I knew I had a strong team. Power 7 with the Mewtwo. Did a nice bit of damage there. 20 seconds. Still think we're going to do it. It's going to be tight. In with our Rayquaza. Mewtwo lasting a, a fair while as well. I think still see another. Tyranitar in the background, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. 
are we going to do it at this stage? I fainted at a bad time there, but thankfully, out of seven, five seconds to go, we've defeated Latios. And uh, that's him down, thankfully. Um, easiest move, so I think we could probably attempt it again and uh, see if we could take down Psychic. And um, probably not using Machamp would help. So, Haller 7, thankfully, caught the Latios. I think Shanavine did as well, unfortunately for me. Didn't manage to catch it with my 14 balls. 14 balls. Terrible. Anyway, thanks, man, for watching. Latios down. Thankfully, Latios. Heading away soon, and we can uh, focus on the Reggies on this channel. So, thanks, man, for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.